I'm uh, at Palos. This is the parking, as you can see. Before I get here, the lady said that it is so busy, you cannot get there. Maybe you want to come later or something like that. But I say no. I'm going to go and I'm going to go until where the uh, everything stops. And then if I have to return, I will come back. But uh, in reality, actually, uh, I keep uh, coming, keep coming. And finally, I got uh, to this place where the parking is with lots of goat around and uh, yeah definitely if you if you are a little bit patient you can find uh, parking for yourself and you don't need to walk like two three extra kilometers to get here so from here well let me tell you one thing we have a, a canteen here uh, it's, it's called municipal canteen so we have uh, you can buy water you can buy coca-cola you can buy some toast and some uh, like light stuff that uh, you need to use coffee as well and uh, pretty much straightforward place to park your car and uh, that's all and from here we will take a walk to go to the Palos beach and I will show you the way You can see how many cars are here already. It's going to be a big adventure if you come to Babos. But man, it's worth it. Okay, so for those of you who are willing to come go to the Balus with uh, a boat that uh, they, they have two shifts one is 10 o'clock uh, 10 or 10 30 something like that if you stay in Kisamos in a hotel they will give you the information and the second boat is at 12 o'clock and the boat will give you around uh, four hours six hours to stay at the beach and uh, yes uh, uh, let me tell you the price. The, it's, I think it was 20 euros. Yeah, it, it will cost per person 20 euros to go to the Balos by boat. But if you are into adventure and if you were into hiking, then this is uh, really something that you want to experience. You can take beautiful photos and also you can meet these goats and beautiful animals they are so friendly they have learned to hang out around humans <laughs> you make sure you are wearing good shoes something good because this it is it's now it's okay but as we keep uh, going getting closer it can get a little bit uh, uh, rocky and uh, challenging so yeah in order to keep your feet safe you should be wearing something safer but i can see people wearing sandals <laughs> That's beautiful.
This is my spoon. I am carrying some yogurt <laughs> in order to refill my protein. <laughs> my grandmother used to say that uh, son if you are going under the sun uh, you should be eating yogurt enough yogurt <laughs> that's going to protect you <laughs> from sunburn <laughs> wow i like it i really like it walking and taking this walk i really like it i can't say i can express uh, more than this my happiness And now we are approaching slowly, slowly, where is this famous spot to take pictures. All the pictures that you see from the Palos, which is like this. Like this. Uh, Palos Logan in the background and somebody saying cheese. Yeah. That's the first part of reality. The second part of reality is when you go downhill and you get to the beach that's one thing and when you are coming back in return that's another thing and uh, sometimes that's not too easy and i am seeing a man carrying a very big camera that's a very big camera <laughs> That's a very big camera compared to mine. <laughs> he was not able to say anything. I, I, I felt that his breath is burning. He, he was running out of breath. So it's time to take also a picture for me. I'm gonna take a picture.
Okay, enough selfies and let's continue our journey to Balos. And I think I don't have any more internet here. As you can see these rocks and if you are wearing sandals you may you may okay for some but some people it will work but me if I personally I want to go all the way down to Balus I will definitely not prefer uh, something like sandals or flip-flops because it doesn't make any sense and this is the very 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 famous this is also so famous, people are taking pictures. I'm gonna go from here. Maybe go there to take a selfie. It's possible. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna walk the extra mile. <laughs> I better don't kill myself. No, it seems like there is a pad. I'm gonna take it to the next level. <laughs> Honestly, I really want you to come to Palos and to stay in Kisamos and don't rush it. One advice if you are listening from me is what I have learned. Don't rush travel. Don't rush visiting places. Don't rush going to place. Be chill. Of course, don't drink, don't drink beer because it's, you will, you, it will make you dehydrated in this situation. Stay hydrated and don't rush it. Just be chill, explore and dedicate some extra hours to your day and to your, uh, to your uh, uh, visit of a place. And especially when you are here like this. Look at this, man. Look at this. They say, like, this beach is the best beach and that beach is the best beach. But honestly, uh, Elafonisi, Balos, Falasarna, these are the most, the most beautiful beaches in whole Europe. And I am so much sure about it. And if you have any uh, problem with that, let me know in the comment because I'm not convinced convinced that there is any other beautiful beach than first is Elafonisi, second is Balos and third is Falasarna and fourth is Vai and they exist in Crete and there is no better and beautiful beach than these beaches in whole Europe and I am damn sure about it and I'm gonna be sure until the end of my life about it yes that's what I said and I'm gonna be always sure maybe at least these are the best for me if you have your opinion I'm open to that and I want to really know that but compared to many beautiful waters in the world these are the best so I'm gonna go there up up there safely I'm gonna take a selfie I'm gonna take some pictures for Instagram and then I will continue the walk is that cool yeah so just give me a small break 
Okay, after a small break, I took some selfies, I spoke with my family, I spoke with uh, some friends, sent some messages, posted some Instagram stories and shared my experience, which is also a good thing to do whenever you are coming to places like this. Take your time and let them know where you are, how do you feel, they are going to be happy about it. And yeah, from now, from here on, we will continue our journey to Palos Beach. Please don't leave your coffee cups there. I think uh, coming back from the Palos beach is going to be way more challenging than going down but look I see people elder people going coming I see younger people younger people going and coming make sure you you don't have hypertension that's not going to be uh, something so nice to 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 happen to you but anyways i forgot to mention that we have a place there they have horses and i think they have donkeys that in trouble or in case if you cannot carry yourself they will take you to the parking area yeah They say it's like two hour, one, one and a half hour walk, but I don't think so. It's much faster than that. If, if somebody would walk faster, they can get to the beach in 45 minutes from the parking. Yeah. It's been like 20 minutes. I'm walking and I, I, I'm not even, yeah, I'm sweating, but like it's not that much sweating. It's not today, the weather is not so hot. It's a little bit windy. Ah, I forgot to say the date. Today it is the 21st of July, and right now the time is. It is 2.28. That's what it is. I would remember to say the time in the beginning or maybe I will cut this piece and put it in the beginning of the video
now I'm sweating. <laughs> It's like a good leg workout. <laughs> Going to Bali's beach and coming back. Okay, all of this it's worth it because of the reward that you get after uh, arriving at the beach so yeah good things comes with hard work you have to remember that <laughs> Well, in this part of the video, everything is pretty straightforward. I'm going to cut the video here and when I'm at the beach, I'm going to start from there. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. A bit of a challenge, a bit of adventure. Living the summer life before it's winter. So, what do you think about it? Please let me know in the comments. And it's original and uh, you cannot use it anywhere else <laughs> because it's mine. Okay, the first thing that I notice uh, arriving at the beach is that I smell lots of this sun protection cream. Well, that's what I smell. But other than that, I love the beach. It is huge, it is big, you can fit almost uh, any amount of people here and they will have their own place and they will have their own space to swim and to lay down and to have a good time there is nothing wrong with that okay i can see over there somebody is struggling they may have like this pre cardiovascular uh, something that we should always take care of our health we should always visit our doctor and we should eat healthy and we should keep everything in balance well life sometime to enjoy life uh, uh, to its maximum limits it takes a little bit of challenge it, it takes a little bit of getting out of your comfort zone so in order to be able to accept those challenges and go there and live you have to be taking care of this body because this is uh, carrying us from place A to B and sometimes the, the space between place A to B could be challenging so that's why you should stay healthy and you should stay strong
Okay, so this is where the canteen is and there is a long line behind it uh, to buy things. So the good thing is that you have like a shop to buy water, maybe Coca-Cola, coffee, snacks and some small stuff that you may need. I see a uh, lady uh, carrying a can of Fanta and this is pretty full and it says that washrooms are there but it will cost you one euro. I almost feel that it is 100 euro. <laughs> That would have been so funny if it would cost you a hundred euro to go to the washrooms or to let's say toilet and they seems to be over there the toilets are over there so I'm gonna be taking a walk like this slowly slowly exploring the world exploring the Balos beach actually Balos is part of the world so technically I am right if I would say that I'm gonna explore the world I can't wait to see that who will be the first person who would make a vlog from the Mars I don't know if he would be alive until then or not or the Let's just forget about this discussion. And that's the Baywatch and this is uh, the Balos beach, let's call it Balos Logan and we have some boats and some uh, other fun stuff that you can maybe participate and pay for it and have a good time. Let me show you. This side of the beach seems to me like a uh, free open area where you can bring your own umbrella and your own towel and you can just be chill and, and, and lay and, and, and have fun and spend a good time and you still can go even further like I don't know if you can see even over there uh, you can go and I can see some tents they have put tents in those places as well they are staying there but also you can stay here if you if you want to stay here and uh, in this side we have sun beds and it's a little bit civilized part of the beach and uh, well this is the right side and this is the left side but over there there are big ships and there is another big ship which is leaving I think they came at 10 o'clock and now they are leaving and there is another ship which is leaving again 
so by now I am not so sure that if uh, I was right about these ships letting people more than two hours four hours I'm not sure about that that's something that you will figure out at the port of Isamos but uh, yeah the ships are leaving and I'm gonna go that way to see there is a kind of small little port thing and up there there is a church so yeah we will explore this all together and i've heard uh, after a long 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 time uh, some people speaking uh, hindi and for me it was like uh, i wanted to communicate with them but i was but i also didn't want i i didn't want i don't want to annoy them that okay yeah you speak uh, hindi or urdu but uh, what about it I mean what I can do about it so I kind of kept myself back and uh, well uh, what I see with my eyes most of the time that's what I explain uh, people are pretty chill uh, I really don't know what does it mean if it is like a uh, bra or it is like uh, this what the women are wearing to cover their titties and I, I, I see that some some people are not wearing it and there is nothing wrong about that they are being chill so I'm not exactly sure if it's like but it is pretty chill this place yeah why I'm saying this if you are into something like that and if you want to feel comfortable this is where you can do that you can be chill and you can be open and, and nobody is going to pay any attention to that stuff I am not sure how am I going to, going to cross this part of the beach without getting my feet wet. I think I need to take my shoes off. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Look, it's also pink beach. Pink beach. We have pinky pinky sand. Yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, it feels so good, and the water is warm. It's like it was really worth it all the way to beach, and now letting my feet touch the sun and the water. And we are humans, everywhere we go, we build something.
that guy seemed to me the last one in the right lift suspicious he was holding like too many cars too many ids with photos <laughs> in it And if you want to know which is my favorite TV series, which is my uh, favorite TV show, well, I have many favorites, not too many, but I have few favorite TV shows. One of them, uh, like my most favorite uh, TV show, I should say, for now is, I mean, like, it's one, I don't want to get, tell you all of them, but the one that I uh, like the most is Sherlock Holmes. I like that series a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna take a walk straight here. It seems to me safer. And as you can see, some people are being creative, finding even a place to chill in inside the stones or on the stones they managed to find a little area As I'm walking, my feet are uh, scratching and I'm pushing them even harder uh, on the sun. This feeling, it is, it is, it is like scratching my feet uh, with sun oh, and it is like kind of sending signals to my heart and to my brain and it feels damn good. Wow, it's so relaxing. Oh yeah. it feels so good i wish you <laughs> i don't know <laughs> how you translate that but for me i'm like it's like it's, it's so satisfying What a beautiful place to take pictures. And these are these sailing boats and this ships, big ships, small boats and that's a this is like a different lifestyle this is this premium ship and uh, that's what it is they worked hard to to get there and i can see up there top at that mountain there are two people i think three people uh trying to take pictures or maybe i don't know what but they are so so brave and so confident that they went up there maybe this time i cannot go there but some other time i will definitely also go there and to many other places i will climb okay oh 
Okay, so I think this was it for Balos and uh, I show you the way, you know how to come here, you know now by now where to stay, you can stay in Kisamos and uh, you can come here and you can have a good time. It's really worth it, really, really worth it. Worth it. Uh, you bring a mask, eye mask with you to swim and to see under the water, that's going to be also a good thing. And if you have a GoPro to make a video, that's also a good thing. And uh, honestly, it's really worth it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe and maybe share this video with a friend and until the next time peace